Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an X return spread for all of my Leos out there. This is an X return spread for all of my Leos out there for the month of September 2019. So without any further ado, let's jump in and see what the cards have to say. Okay. Some Rising Venus Jupiter, some Rising Venus Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What kind of energy is coming towards my... Leo's during the month of September 2019. What kind of energy is coming towards my Leo's? What kind of energy is my Leo dealing with during the month of September in 2019? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Hmm. All right, let's get started here. So, right off the bat, we have the King of Swords. That is a very strong energy, very solid energy. Um, and that is an air sign individual. So, that is uh, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Now, this person is a very solid, very strong, okay? Um, and, you know, they have a little bit of a presence, and you're dealing with them, and... You know, you're kind of feeling like you got the eight of swords here. You're feeling like, damn, my hands are kind of tied behind my back here. This is, you know, I feel like I can't really move. I can't really. This person's got your hands tied behind your back like, yo, I'm controlling vertical. I'm controlling the horizontal. And it's kind of got you kind of shook a little bit. You know, you're like, damn, you know, I, I need some breathing room. I need some room to expand here. I'm feeling trapped. Now. Interesting thing here is you got the nine of cups here. This that individual feels as though, hey, um, their wishes are fulfilled. They want you, they got you. And they're happy. But you're trapped. And you're not happy. Okay? So because of that, we got the three of wands here. So you got a couple of feelings out there because you're like, you know what? Mm, I can't deal with this. I can't. I can't feel like I'm. I'm smothered. I don't have any room to. I have no room to breathe. I can't expand. I can't expand my lungs. And at some point, you best believe. You best believe. Boom. Tower car is gonna happen. You can guarantee it. I mean, individual is smothering you, not letting you move to the right, to the left. You know, they're completely oblivious to the fact that they're smothering you. Somewhat could possibly even say controlling. Controlling, quite possibly. Um, and so that tower moment is going to come. It's going to come. Boom. Um, it's going to come. So, um, with that being said, uh, there's also this sense of, from you, that you're going to have a short success. You're definitely going to have a short success in the situation because you have other things out there. This is just something that you're dealing with right now. But you're going, you are assured that there is something out there better for you. Absolutely, absolutely. And like I said before, we got the two of wands. It's pretty much doubling down on what I'm saying. You got, you got a couple other options out there. You have a new pathway that's beginning to open up for you. So you either, I'm going to either go this way or that way. Because right now, like I said, you're trapped. But you're going to break free. You're going to. You're, and you're. You are assured that you are going to find there is a better thing out there for you. And you're right. We got the page of wands. Very exploratory energy. Very exploratory energy, which is which is good for you because, you know, you're you're you need a little bit, a breathing room, a little adventure. Somewhat a little bit of adventure is going to be coming your way soon. Um, again, uh, oh yeah, uh, a page of wands, a fire sign individual, an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo, okay? So, you need some of that, that exploratory energy, something that's going to kind of uplift your spirits, give you a sense of like more creative energy, get more creative energy, um, a little bit more passion, that type of thing. And finally, we got the Hermit card here. You've done some soul searching about it, you've thought about it contemplated this 
you know, if you 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 going within, you've examined um, within, like, yo, you know, do I really, do I really need to, do I really want this? Do I really need this? You know, and you've done some soul searching about it, and, and you've come to the realization that two and two equals four, that equals five. And so you're like, you know what? I, I got to do what I got to do to give me some breathing room to expand my horizons. So that's where you are right now. That's your energy you're dealing with right now. So let's see what's going on with your ex. Let's see what's going on with your ex. See what's going on with your ex. What kind of energy is your ex dealing with? What kind of energy is your ex dealing with? What kind of energy is your ex dealing with? So many cards I need to see. So many cards I need to see. All right. Oh. Okay, well. Your ex? Not so good. Alright. Right off the bat here, we got the Nine of Swords. So they're dealing with, um, they're dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, probably depression. Something's really been Weighing heavily on their mind, keeping them up, keeping them up late at night, pretty much. You know, just really weighing heavily on their mind, weighing heavily on their soul. Um, and it appears to be, um, we have the hierophant here. There's a tradition, some type of tra traditional type of situation here that they were dealing with. You know, it looks as if they probably, it looks and it feels as if they were in a situation where. Um, there was a possibility there was a long-term relationship here possibly leading to marriage here and the sense of the sense was we got the four of pentacles here there was absolutely going to be a sense of success they were assured of a, of a success long-term relationship um um you know traditional values things would be going to work out great they, they were sure it is um we have the world card here. So things had come full circle with this individual. They were they were like assured that things were going to work out for them. Almost assured. But. Got the devil card here. And so there was, there was something about this individual that um, surfaced. Uh, the possibility of uh, the, it's, it's the individual could have just been toxic. This has been a very toxic connection that they've had with this individual. Very possible. Um, there could have possibly been some type of substance abuse here. I'm feeling here. Um, you know, this was supposed to go, it was supposed to go one way and it so badly went the other way. And this is that's why it, there's a sense of anxiety, uh, the sense of just being lost, being lost. Um, this was not exactly what they thought it was going to be. You know, they feel as though they completed they completed this journey within themselves, the new sense of liberation, the new sense of freedom, starting a new journey here, and then bam, like, wow. And so, um, in addition here. There was this feeling of hope and renewal, hope and renewal, renewal of faith, renewal of passion, because they thought this person was their twin flame. They thought that person was their, their twin flame. They really believed that that person was the one. Um, but surprise, surprise. We got the five of wands here. There was a lot of conflict, a lot of tension, a lot of fighting. Um, uh, and, and the fighting, because they, because, that's what made the situation that much worse. Because they thought this person was their twin flame. Obviously, there was a, a long-term commitment on their mind. And it, again, it looks like there possibly even was definitely a marriage 
situation that was going to take place. You know, they thought they had felt the one. That's what they had. They found the one. That's why there was a, a short success. Um, but once once it was revealed to them that this person uh, wasn't who they claimed to be, uh, you know, they or this person, they 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 didn't they didn't see the whole person. All right. And so this caused a lot of tension, conflict, fighting, and that's what caused uh, the Nine of Swords to take place. That's what caused the tension, uh, you know, depression, anxiety, that sort of thing. However, one good thing I can say that's going on here, we, we do have the Nine of Cups here. So we do have a water sign individual, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, that's kind of way in the distance there. Uh, why your ex is kind of still currently dealing with this particular situation and possibly the fallout that's taking place from it. But there is this water sign kind of kind of waiting on the dock of the bay there, kind of watching things go down. And it looks like there could possibly be some kind of connection between them and that, in, and that individual. So with that being said, um, what are the chances you and your ex going to get back together here? What are the chances you and your ex are going to get back together this month? What are the chances you and your ex are going to get back together this month? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Well, it does appear. <clears throat> does appear. So, first of all, we have the Three of Wands. So... Basically, uh, you guys have put things out there. There were some fillers out there and so forth and so on. <clears throat> but, in a, you know, so you kind of, you're doing your thing. They're doing their thing. You, you're waiting for your ships to come and so forth. Especially on your end. Uh, you kind of, you, 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 like I said, as I explained with your particular reading, you got some things out there. You got some choices. So you're waiting around. Now, we got the hangman here, which... It's kind of like put a pause. The brakes have been put on a little bit. The brakes have been put on a little bit. You know, you're like, you're not too sure if that's exactly what you want to do here. Uh, but the final outcome is the sun card. Um, let me get some clarification on the sun card. Let me get some clarification on the sun card here. Let me get some clarification on the sun card. Because it, it looks as if you guys are definitely going to be reconnecting, getting back together. But let me just get some clarification on Sun Party because I feel as if there's still something else that I'm not quite seeing here. So I'm going to dig a little deeper. Do a little bit of investigating. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Give me some clarification on the Sun Card here. Give me some clarification on the Sun Card here. Okay. Asking you shall receive. Ace of Swords, mental clarity, the sense of mental clarity, blockages removed. Okay, so because I was kind of feeling like, wait a minute, there's, you know, why would this situation be taking place here? You know, um, you seem to have, in your particular situation, it's like you kind of was with this individual, it's kind of a toxic situation, and, and so you were the controlling you, you were looking to break away, explore your energy, and those, your ex, um, pretty much like they got bamboozled pretty much. Um, so, you know, are you guys going to get, I was thinking, it looks like you guys are going to get back together, but are you getting back together out of desperation, be, desperation? And that's what I was looking to find is eight, this ace of, um, ace of swords here. So actually there was some thinking that took place here. There was a removal, there was a mental clarity and pretty much. Probably what you guys both came to the realization of is that the grass is not always greener on the other side, you know, pretty much. And so it was the removal of mental, there was a mental clarity, removals of blockages, and you guys are stronger and together than you are apart type of thing. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so um, <clears throat> with that being said, let me see what the spirits have any additional information they want to throw on you before I shut this thing down. What additional information do you want to ooh, do you want to say before I shut this thing down? 
That card popped out there, so that's going to be a part of the three card spread. No worries. Don't want to leave anything to chance. Okay. So, here we go. Spirit wants you to know, choose a new direction. Okay, so the direction in which you were going, uh, yeah, you definitely needed to change that direction. You know, that whole toxic thing that's going on with this, uh, with this, uh, with this air sign individual keeping you trapped, suffocating you. Choose a new direction. Get out of there. Get out of there. That's what Spirit's saying. Get out of there. Get out of there. Um, in addition here, which is pretty interesting, um, improving health. So that can mean one of that can mean that can mean a couple things here. Um, because health, <clears throat> the term health is very subjective. It can mean physical health, like physically, you know, improving health, getting out of this situation. Um, could really improve your uh, physical health. Uh, you know, maybe you weren't eating because you were feeling stressed out. Maybe you were dealing with that 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 emotional. When a person's really emotional, um, you know, they don't eat. They don't eat. Then you have some people that do eat. So it's, it could go, you know, either one extreme or the other. Either you won't eat enough or you'll eat too much. So whatever the case may be is there's going to be an improvement in health getting out of this situation. Moving towards this situation. That's why I said sometimes the devil you know is the devil you don't. The grass not always green on the other side. That sort of thing. So there definitely is going to be an improvement in health here. Okay? That's the that's, that's physical health. Now, it also can mean mental health. Okay? Because you're dealing with a toxic situation and your, 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 your ex is definitely dealing with a toxic situation. Same thing, physical situation goes with them too. Could be a, a physical thing. Or could, it, or could possibly be a mental a mental thing, okay? Or could it be both? Could definitely be both here. Because I'm feeling there's a possibility it could be both. It could be that you're dealing with a mental physical thing, and your ex is kind of dealing with you know the opposite end of the of the same coin here. So either way, there's going to be improve overall improvement in both health, physical, mental, spiritual, etc., 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 etc. And finally here, peaceful resolution. So there's definitely going to be a peaceful resolution to any kind of situation that you guys were dealing with here. It's going to come. Things are going to, going to have a peaceful, uh, a peaceful resolution, which is where you got the Sun card at the end, and because you have the Ace card, the Ace of Swords here, which means it's going to be a sense of mental clarity, a removal of blockages, um, a victory achieved, if you will, um, because there was a, a growing that took place, and you got to see, you know how things were on the outside and it's a possibility you guys realize that hey you're better together than you are apart so um again um hopefully this resonated with you guys um this is a general reading again um if you want something a little bit more specific to your situation you may want to get a personal reading i'll leave all the information in the link below um if you haven't already please like share and subscribe my name is adonis and i'll see you next time bye bye